Today I'm going to show you how to use the Breville espresso machine. Take your bean, put it in here. I already had some there, but just to show you the full process. Stumptown, Holy Mountain, organic. And you only want to drink coffee that gives the roasted on date. Otherwise, if it doesn't have a roasted on, it's no good. This is the old one. You can throw that away. And take note, you have to make sure there's water. You can add water by putting it there. You can use this to fill up the water and pour it. So once you have water, coffee, you turn the machine on, it heats up the water. Okay, then when all the lights are lit, then you're ready. Then you wanna clean it from the last use. So you use a one cup and it spits out some water. Then I like to clean the chamois here. I'm going to take the paper towel. It's a little hot, careful. Make sure it's all nice and dry. There you go. Now, What you do is make sure it's set to double because we're drinking doubles here. If you want a single, you, you swap it out with this. So depending on if you have a double or a single, we're doing doubles. Push it in once, it gives the automatic amount. Good. Now when you have it like that, take this tool, make sure you don't lose, try to lose very little bean there. I'm going to get the air bubbles out, push down just a little bit, nice and compact, and then you put it in. And the insert lined up with the insert, the handle, and then you turn to lock. Real simple. So also one side step is you want to make sure the foamer is clean. So you can over here change it to drip. So that'll get a hot, hot stream. Just run that there. Let it clean. There you go. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> moment of truth. Once you have it here, we're gonna to wanna to focus on this meter here, the pressure. It has to be in the middle. Yeah, the pressure's gotta be, you want it right up, lined up in the middle. Or if you like it a little more bitter, burn it a little bit, higher pressure. If you like it a little softer, lower pressure. Hit the double cup since we're doing doubles. Load your cup. Now you can do two separate shots too, if you wanted to. You know, you imagine you have two. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Look at the good picture. You want it nice and creamy. And if you imagine, you can just hold one here and one there and fill two separate shots if you're having a guest. Nice. So once you have it there. Okay. There you go. Nice and creamy. Then you add your milk to get the foam. Just 
it's about that much below the there you go sure the milk. that's how much you want there you can have a little less or a little more maybe that's a little much put a little less milk than that then you turn the knob over here to foam takes about six seven seconds to start up you'll notice it's going meanwhile you can set this here it stays hot once you have the, the stream like that, let it start up again here. And here it go full blast. There we go, there we go. Okay, pause it, standby mode. Load it in, back on. So you wanna stick it down in there to heat up the milk a bit. Then slowly lower it. And it's got to sound like you're tearing a piece of paper all the way through consistently. So it's, there we go, like a nice long tear of a piece of paper. And then as the foam rises, you can lower the cup accordingly. You can also feel the bottom. It's not very hot yet, so you want to heat it up more. Stick it down in there a bit more. Now you can feel the bottom of this start to heat up. It's done when it's hot to the touch or when you max out your foam. Yep, so now it's getting hot to the touch. Stand by. Let the air go. Alright, now you have this nice foam. Tap it, get the air bubbles out, get a circular motion. Take your coffee, an espresso, and drip it in there. notice we have some foam left so that's a little too much milk that I put there so um, otherwise if you just drink some down and you can add more foam that's, that's, it. that's it so the cleanup is just once you have that foamy tip you want to clean it out there drip mode it's really hot careful there you go, just clean that off. Eventually you gotta pull this out and clean it, but it'll be good there. You're done, turn it off.